who would have thought it would all turn out like this? It seemed like everything was so far from us. Civil disturbances, people with guns under a black banner. We thought it was somewhere far away, on the other side of the TV screen. Our village seemed too small to be affected by this. After all, what kind of conflict could you have with a shoemaker from the edge of town that you went to school with? Or with the baker's children from the neighboring street that played soccer with your children in the evenings? We were so naive then. I remember that night, our last quiet evening. We had used all my accumulated vacation time and taken a long trip. Our second honeymoon, as my wife called it. We'd just come home. It was the last night I could sit at home just watching TV. Anwar, dear, come to bed. Yes, of course. I just wanted to get caught up to speed. It's been almost a month since I watched the news. You have to be at work early tomorrow, but you remember. So what's new? Nothing important. I've already turned it off. Salam, Wazir. Anwar, I'm happy to hear from you. Are you already on your way to work? Yes, Captain. First day back on the job. Well, hurry. A lot has happened in the month you were gone. When you get here, we'll take a service vehicle and check out the outskirts of the city. Civilians have been calling in tips about strange people there. Okay, Wazir. I got. I'm coming. Hi, Chief. You made it. Well, get in and let's go to the outskirts of the city. Wahid, the head of the police department, the next town over called. He asked to come and discuss something in person. Hey, Chief, hop in and let's go. How was your vacation? We went to visit my wife's relatives in Lebanon. Sea and sun, it was good. I wanted to get back home though. They show so much on TV. It's worse than it looks on TV. Some armed men and clerics from the other places have been exciting people. The nearby police station blew up. The military put up roadblocks. Yeah, I saw. What does Wahid want? I don't know. Someone shot up an army convoy near his town. Maybe he wants to talk about that. We'll find out soon enough. Stop here and wait for me. I'll have my radio on just in case, so you'll hear everything that goes down. Chief, if it's that serious, shouldn't I go with you? No, wait here. And what? And what? Where are you? Elias, is that you? What, did you miss me? 
Instructed the chief to meet someone on the outskirts of town. I'm still there, waiting. Put it back on the job, eh? Come back soon, we're about to have tea. Oh, are you on duty today? Great, I think the chief will be finished soon, and we'll head back. Keep the kettle hot. It's good to see you, Wahid. Who are these people? Why are they armed? Hello, Wazir. It's good to see you, too. They're my new friends, and if you're smart, they'll be yours, too. What are you talking about? The times are changing. These men are a new force I'm working with. In times like these, it's better to be a free agent, Wazir. They've got funds, weapons, and basically endless support from abroad. You watch TV, you know what's going on. The government is falling. I'm offering you the chance to join the winning side before it's too late. They won't touch you or your men. They might cut up a few of the Christians in your town, but that's just for show. It won't be significant, and they'll make you the leader. Hmm? What do you say? You were easily bought. You still can't forgive the higher-ups for not making you a colonel and sending you to Damascus, can you? And now here's your chance to get revenge, eh, Wahid? You won't be working in my town, not while I and my men are around. Don't be so naive, Wazir. You said yourself, while I'm around. What do you think these men are here for? Damascus only has a few weeks left. We've been given enough money and arms to make us unstoppable. Yesterday we took out an army convoy near my town, and now our main forces are on the way. What will you be able to do against tanks? I'm sick of all this talk! Either he gives the command for his men to lay down their arms or I'm- Anwar, did you get all that? Get back to the station and sound the distress call. Get ready for an attack! Ilias, Ilias, they killed the boss! Those jackals killed Wazir! Anwar, what do you mean? Who killed him? I didn't see them, I only heard the conversation. Wazir said something about men with weapons. They told him we had to let them into our city. Sound the alarm, take up defense. Got it, I'm already raising our defenses. We got a platoon out for training that set out this morning, but I can't reach them now. Try to go find them and bring them back into the city. We'll have to hold out until then. Yes, I'm on my way to them, hold on. Hello, Karim. Ilyas, do you know what time it is? Why are you calling so early? Get up, we need you at work, ASAP. It's my day off, what happened? The chief is dead. Some dogs attacked the city. And water went out for reinforcements. And we're defending the station. Do you have your rifle with you? Of course I do. Okay, my brother, I will be there soon. Who's there? Mahmoud! Mahmoud, brother, it's me, Ilias! We've been attacked! What? I had shots! Who attacked us? I don't know, but there are a lot of them, and they've come with combat vehicles. Wazir said you have an RPG buried in your yard from the war with Israel? Of course. What kind of Arab would I be if I didn't have an RPG buried in my yard? I'll get my sons, and I'll be there soon! Did you hear? 
We in our detachment are returning from the checkpoints. We've got a flat tire on the pickup, but the soldiers brought us an oral. And what? It's a massacre over here! Hurry! We're here. Great. It's going to be a little tight with ammunition. So that Ural is going to come in handy. Brothers, stay inside! Look how many of these jackals are here! They are well prepared! The station is well defended! It shouldn't fall!
the armed men have taken the mosque. They've desecrated the house of Allah. People, gather up. They invaded the city from the other side. If they manage to regroup there, they'll cut through the city like a knife. We have to take back the mosque to keep that from happening. I think the people are storming the mosque themselves! Now just get butchered! We have to help them! Hello, who is it? Anwar, this is Majid Hoja. We're storming the mosque! We can't let those hounds desecrate our sacred place! Help us! Amin Wazir, this is Al Din. What's going on? Colonel, this is Lieutenant Anwar Amin. Captain Wazir is dead. We're under attack. What? Did those devils get to you too? Ah, Wazir was a good man. Report the situation over there, Lieutenant. The enemy has been attacking us since morning. They seem to be terrorist groups. They're well armed and they're attacking from multiple sides. We're holding the entrances to the city, but I'm not sure how much longer we'll be able to do it. Understood, Lieutenant. Hold on, and I'll ask the army to send you some backup. In the meantime, I'll send you whatever I can find here.
Stop, Muhammad. We have arrived. Great. Take up your positions and prepare to fight. The enemy is regrouping to attack again. They're on the move. I hope we're ready.
This is Sergeant Abdullah Amani. Come in. Can anyone hear me? This is Lieutenant Anwar Amin. Sergeant, are you reinforcements we were promised? I didn't expect you so soon. Affirmative. We were given an order to be ready to move out, but the checkpoint was attacked by suicide bombers and an IFV. We weren't prepared for that kind of onslaught. The checkpoint is done for. Everyone died. We only managed to get the sappers out. We need support. We, we don't have enough fuel to get to you. Copy that. We'll figure something out. Look, Anwar. Old man Hassan's fuel truck. We can use it to fuel up at the IFV. We are ready to move, Lieutenant. The sappers are rearing to hand those bastards a couple of surprises. It might be a good move to mine the road from your checkpoint. Those jackals may try to send the IFB they attacked you in that way.
Lieutenant? Are you in charge here now? Your captain was a fool, but maybe you're a little smarter. Our main force will be here in no time, and you will be helpless to resist. The army checkpoints are gone. Don't let the sacrifices your people have made be in vain. Give the order to lay down arms. Never! Then you'll meet the same fate as Wazir. It seems like he trained his people to be as dumb as he was. A new power is coming to Syria, and I'm going to be given a high post for joining the right side early. How can you choose to die in this hole over money and power? I won't forget you, Lieutenant. You killed my captain, you scum! I'll find you and I'll put you down like the dog you are! And no money, and no power will help you then. When the new government comes in, we'll slit your and your family's throats. You understand, the whole world is on our side. We've unlimited access to weapons and money. How much longer do you think you can hold out? You can't possibly combat the forces behind them. The captain taught me to live an upright life. If I have to, I will die, but I will do it with honor and dignity. I have nothing more to say to you, you dirty dog. Lieutenant, people are calling about terrorist vehicles on the outskirts of town. Tell everyone to take shelter! Colonel Alzin, Lieutenant. Are you alive? Yes, Colonel. Just barely. Nobody's doing well. It seems they've begun a serious attack on the region. Some of our people have fled. Some have sided with the terrorists. Some under duress. Others of money. I know. Wahid already made us an offer. Wahid? I suddenly understand what happened to that convoy near their village. We cannot give you any more support. You'll have to make do as you see fit. What now, Lieutenant? We really pissed them off resisting. When they're through with us, there won't be anything left in town. I'll call the Imam and tell him to gather the people. Tell them to take their cars and leave the city. We'll cover them. Hello? Majid Hodja, sir. I have bad news. We're running out of time. We can't hold the city much longer. What are you saying? You and your people should leave immediately. Those fanatics will spare no one. Call the elders and have them warn the others. Take the things you cannot do without and flee the city. We'll try to hold them off as long as we can. Very well, Anwar. It's all in Allah's hands now. Be strong. I'm organizing the evacuation. Those with vehicles will leave on their own. I'm trying to find a bus for the others. Attention, the enemy makes heavy use of suicide bombers. If a vehicle approaches you at high speed, shoot everything you have at it. Don't let them get close enough to damage our fortifications. Protect the bus, we can't lose it. It's the only way out for our families.
Listen carefully, take the children and everything you can carry and make a run for the bus. It's in front of Aunt Medina's house. Anwar, we... Quiet woman, do as I say, I'll find you later, just leave. Everyone who's gonna leave has left. 
There's no point in holding the city anymore. Gather everyone. Tell them our team is retreating for now. But I swear on my father's memory, I'll be back.